Hello humans! Um, I have mixed feelings about making this video because it could really come off as self-indulgent claptrap if I'm not careful. Um, but honestly, it wasn't my idea. I Ever since I started posting videos from in front of the Wall of Geek, I've had uh, friends asking me, hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? Hey, what's that? And um, one of them just finally said, why don't you just make a video of it? And so people, so you can answer, so you could just go ahead and answer the question all at once. And I'm like, fine. But if it does come off as self-indulgent claptrap, please excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just going to go through what's on the wall and on the shelves and really quickly, very quickly, um, so that you all will know so when actually, no, so that when someone asks me something, I can just link them this video and say, there you go. So, we will start on this side. Um, this little thing on the wall that you can't really see, that's actually the, um, the first page of my um, look at cyberpunk science fiction, um, for which I won a writing award back in my undergrad. Cyberpunk is the future today. Um, low those many years ago, but it's, I won an award for it, and it's fun, and I like it. Uh, this is a wizard staff. I used to I used to work, live, not work, live in an um, apartment complex that had all these tall, skinny trees, and some of them fell over, so I took one home because I thought, hey, that looks like a wizard staff, and so I made a wizard staff out of it. Um, top shelf is kind of the, um, the classic, the classics. So Shakespeare, Edgar Allan Poe, and Edgar Allan Poe action figure complete with Raven that will perch on his shoulder. Um, a gargoyle on top of the Poe because I thought it was going to fall. Um, because, because, um, a, a Michael Burnham from the first season of Discovery Funko Pop. Uh, this is the Asimov collection. This is, um, this is what I have of Frank Herbert. This is Jim Butcher's The Dresden Files. Um, below that, just some more generalized books. I have the a Queer Chocolatier um, gift box uh, because this is the best chocolate in the world and you should really go to queerchocolatier.com because I said so. Um, no, seriously, it, it really is some of the best st stuff in the world. Um, Londo Malari. Action figure from Babylon 5 with a little Centauri shuttlecraft that comes with him. Um, TNG tricorder. Um, tarot cards and witchy stuff because I like studying alternate religions or just religions in general. Oh, you'll see beads on... Uh, those are from Pride, don't ask. Um, <laughs> uh, this guitar, I can't play it for crap. Just I just can't. Um, my... If I'm playing like a solo and I'm only play, playing two or three strings at a time, I I can I can work up a pretty good solo. Can't play chords to save my life. I cannot get my left hand to to, to do that quickly and on hours, days, weeks of practice. And no, I can't play piano very well either because I can't get my left hand to be too independent from my right hand. Um, bass, on the other hand, I I rock out. I I'm a bass player. Um, what else we have here? Um, some more recent, well, kind of recent. It's not really recent. It's the girl with the, with the dragon tattoo, girl with all the gifts. Um, Douglas Adams, Paul Anderson, William Gibson, Ursula K. Le Guin, Stephen King. It's like, it's a science fiction fantasy hall of fame kind of thing. Uh, science books are next. Um, everything from gender studies to physics to language. Um, a personality test that I kept for some reason. Uh, my signed photo of Nana Visitor as uh, Ma Major Kira Norris from Deep Space Nine. Of course I have that. What, I mean, why wouldn't I have that? I mean, <sighs> see, at first I based my look off of her. Just saying. Um, my Van Gogh's TARDIS exploding painting card case. Uh, Beethoven action figure. Oops. Oopsie. Sonic screwdriver.
but I keep dropping. I'll leave it there for now. Um, books on music theory, music composition, lyric writing, singing. Um, this, these are my books on journalism. Um, with a little toward the end here is more like queer uh, stuff. This is uh, Megan Rapinoe's um, autobiography, Bagman by Rachel Meadow, which really isn't a queer theme, but it's a queer person who wrote a book about um, politics. And this one, this one has a special place in my heart. This is Lexi Bean's um, The Ship We Built. Uh, it's actually a very good book, and when I was with um, the Indie Pride Board of Directors, I was the Director of Education, and I got to do a online event where I interviewed Lexi Bean, and they were amazing, um, and had a really good time. Kind of surprised people that I can actually interview people. Um, they didn't know that I this is kind of a thing I do on the side. Um, that was really funny. Um, well, that was a John Sheridan <laughs> from Babylon 5 uh, action figure. Put that away. And the thing it knocked off was a BattleBots um, action figure. This is Backlash. If you watched BattleBots in the early aughts, you'll remember that. Time. Tiny dag <laughs> lightsaber, which is really like a light dagger. And yeah, no, it's not gonna do it. Okay, stay there, see what I care. Um, a bunch of, um, oh, sheet music. Um, my, my own and, the, and, then, and then other stuff back here. Oh, over here, we've got a Mozart action figure to go with the, ba with the Beethoven action figure. Oh, and I skipped the Babylon 5 fighters. Um, uh, Plushy Cthulhu. This is uh, the little award I got for running the Rainbow 5K in 2017. It's uh, Indianapolis's 5K that uh, that Pride, uh, the Indy Pride, puts on every year. And I only have one because right after I ran this one, I continued to try to, you know, to to learn to jog, and well. Get better at jogging, more stamina. Um, but then I was jogging and dislocated my sacrum right back here. It's the little, um, it's the, no, it's actually a very large bone that connects your spine to your pelvis, and mine went out of place. Um, so I don't run anymore. Um, various Delta Shields from the movies and from Discovery and from the next generation. This is my tuba mouthpiece because I used to be a tuba major, um, used to be a tuba player, and I actually miss it dearly. Um, the rest of the books, all the way down, these are all um, role-playing games going back to the 70s and 80s. Um, and, and, and current, this is, um, this is Cyberpunk Red um, is here, and but then I have like some some failed ones like D20 Modern, and there's Champions, Hero Games, Cyber Generation, um, Dresden Files, which is the Fate system. Then I have a bunch of um, really old, like from 1977-78, uh, original Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Monster Ma Manual and De Deities and Demigods uh, manuals. Um, and then I have more the more recent versions. Um, Gamma World, Star, you know, Shadow Run, Star Frontiers, Star Trek, um, the World um, World of Darkness, both what was released in the 90s and then what they re-released as, you know, different type um, not too long ago. Bunch of role-playing, a um, bunch of uh, battle games down here. Um, this was another uh, comic book. Oh, I didn't show. Yeah, there's that comic book too. These are both role-playing game comic books. Um, late '80s, early '90s. It was a thing to make comic books based on role-playing game um, um, settings. So there's this is Champions from Hero Games, and that is um, the Mech Warrior role-playing game comic book. Okay, my bass and my amp and this old crystal microphone. All things I inherited from my grandfather. Still play this bass fairly often. 
with that amp, not that amp. That amp's broken. I can't afford to get it fixed. Um, and then there's the bulletin board. The bulletin board is just um, just things that I've done, um, places I've gone. The 2009 Kinsey Institute Art Show. Um, the What We Left Behind um, Star Trek Deep Space Nine documentary. I got to see it in the theaters and I got a poster for it. That was fun. Um, lots of roller derby stuff. I used to be really into roller derby. Um, I actually was the bout director for Naptown Roller Derby for about three years. I was the person who put on the bouts. You know, I didn't have anything to do with the skating or the officiating. I was the person who was in charge of the show leading up to the game. So, and then cleaning up. That was my job, was to make sure they had a place to skate, the audience was entertained until the, um, until the, the bouts began, and then I got everybody out and cleaned up. That was my, that was my job. And I loved it, and I was good at it. I was really good at it. <sighs> I miss that too. Reasons. Um, last thing I'm going to show, oh, oh, no, wait, I do have to show you this. Um, you probably can't see it from way over there, but that's the Dalai Lama. I got to see the Dalai Lama when uh, he came and spoke in Indianapolis, and that was one of my favorite things to do. It was um, 2010, and, um, yeah, it was so good. He was, he barely spoke English, but he was also absolutely hysterical. Um, it was, it was just, it was just a great night. And, um, yeah, that's, um, something I haven't got to do in a while. Harvey Milk Dinner, um, Grand Masquerade, Girl Pride. <sighs> Back when I had money and could walk more than 20 minutes at a time. Yay. Um, the last thing is, um, this little thing right here. It's actually a little magazine of, um, graphic prints for different movies. And I, I got this one, um, because of Rift Tracks. Uh, if you're not familiar with, with Rift Tracks, it's a, um, it, it's basically Mystery Science Theater 3000, but without that, all that stuff, you go to a theater and... The three main voice artists who did all and the head writers from that, uh, from Mr. Science, um, they sit in a, they, they go to another theater and make fun of the movies like they used to, but live and beamed out uh, across the world. Um, and I went to go see Carnival of Souls, and it was, oh my god, hysterical. It was one of the, it, it was a great night, and a few days later, I go into Irvington Vinyl and Books. Hi. A uh, friend of mine owns it. And um, I look over, and that is staring back at me. And I knew exactly what it was immediately. I, I had just seen the movie, and it's pretty obvious. And I had to have it. And I had to put it on my wall because it just felt like karma or kismet or some, synchronicity, something, one of those concepts. Um, so yeah, and there's my record player, and that's a storage cabinet. I think that's all that, um, people have actually asked me about, so it should be all, um, Mozart's getting ready to fall down. Oh well. Um, oh, the mirror, that's one of my own little bits of art. It's not really art, it's, I painted on a mirror. Um, it says, are you the reflection of your mind's eye? And I like to report that I am nowadays. So yeah. Um, oh, and the last thing that people keep asking me is, why do you say peace and long life? Because the traditional Vulcan response to live long and prosper is peace and long life. So wishing you peace and long life.